It's going to be a lot lighter and fluffier as is typical with lake effect snow, but as far as Thursday night into Friday, that is the beginning and it's not necessarily for Toronto, but for areas up to the north, this is going to be a major event and it continues right into early next week. That cold unloading in South Korea, it's coming over the North Pole as well from Siberia and Russia and will be uh, knocking on the door soon enough. Four degrees tomorrow afternoon, there's some sun. That's what I'm happy about today was so nice with the sun out uh, early on. However, the roads will be wet. There could be some wet flurries mixed with showers. No accumulation expected uh, and we're not going to see much as I mentioned in Toronto, but at times these snow squalls, they oscillate and they may get into at least the north and west parts of town, if not the downtown core for a while. Look at all the cold. This purple color up across the north, minus 26 in Yellowknife, minus 16 in Saskatoon. It's now on the move, and it's just a matter of time. As it traverses across Canada, it's going to set up shop around here for the first half of December. So we've got two weeks at least where we have below average temperatures and the milder air will move back into the west. So this is kind of the way December starts. The week, uh, the winter forecast still is for a warmer than normal winter, but it starts off cold, colder than we've seen perhaps in the last six or seven December. So let's get right to the details, starting with the first watches and warnings. This is for Lake Superior. West winds coming across the lake, Sault Ste. Marie getting snow. We're going to see numerous warnings, I'm sure, by tomorrow night's broadcast. That's going to encompass a big chunk of southern Ontario as the squalls get going. So here's that system that moves up the east coast, puts a bit of a delay in anybody's Thanksgiving plans, or Black Friday for that matter, the next day. But there's snow coming to the mountains of New England and New York State. And then here comes the streamers. This is pure lake effect. All five of the Great Lakes will have these squalls and look at this, a rather intense band getting into Newmarket, perhaps uh, even Aurora. So we're going to watch this closely. It's very tough two days in advance to figure out where those squalls go and then they pull back up to the north. But amounts right here, this is 50 to 80 centimeters by Monday. Barry is going to be uh, in that range as well, although likely the heaviest just to the north. Minus one tonight in Toronto and then tomorrow five degrees. So we're still close to average for this time of year. And as we get into the next few days, where dog walking forecast. OK, we'll start there and then we'll get back to the seven day. One degree on Friday, minus one Saturday, just flurries in Toronto. But we do get those squalls as you go up to the north.